For a while now, gaming really hasn't felt the same. And often you'll see people say, you're not playing the right games, or you're just getting older. And that has been a common justification for a very long time, but that isn't what we feel the way we do. Gaming for the past few years hasn't been the same, and there's a lot more to it than just us growing up. Games aren't made with passion anymore. They feel empty and less creative than games from a decade ago. I'm geared up and tracking down Yakko. Now who the hell are these assholes? We are at a point where we open Steam or go on our console and there's just a lack of enthusiasm to play. And to be fair, there are still great games out there, like Elden Ring, a great example, but for the most part it feels like almost every game coming out isn't made with any enthusiasm. Most recently we have Forspoken get completely demolished by YouTube creators all around the world. And deservingly so. A game that looked very promising at first ended up being empty, repetitive, and the dialogue was just horrendous. Also, Assassin's Creed Valhalla was another release that fell way below expectations, and Ghost Recon completely fell off a cliff. I mean, Ghost Recon Breakpoint is not what Ghost Recon was back then. These are two franchises that everyone loved back then, which makes it so much worse. But these aren't the only franchises that flopped in today's age. Hey, the Last of Us sorry. Part 2 became a meme. Me a Who would have thought? In a lot of people's eyes, the best story-driven zombie game ever in the PlayStation 3 becomes the biggest joke in the PlayStation 4. Fable is non-existent anymore. Mass Effect is no longer around. And most notably, Metal Gear Solid. Last released in 2018, five years ago. Where have all the franchises gone? And these are just a couple. There's actually more currently dead franchises right now. And what about Dying Light 2? I see a lot of zero scores on Metacritic, but they do say sequels are worse. So far, this is becoming painful. The amount of dead franchises and lack of good sequels is definitely more than we all expected. Very worrying to see. As of lately, players have been complaining about unfinished and buggy games. And there's no doubt that that's the case. We would've never saw this coming. CDR Project, a company praised by gamers all around the world, released the biggest flop in 2020. Cyberpunk 2077. All of the hype came crashing down when people launched this game and saw all kinds of issues. From the AI, and obviously all the bugs that it had, it was just a terrible launch, one of the worst launches that a AAA game has ever had, honestly. Now, if this company did this, what can we expect from anyone else? The amount of market transactions lately are also something to make fun of. For the first time ever, we had a crash game have market transactions. Gran Turismo 7 also reduced race earnings so that people would have to spend money to buy cars. Two classics killed by modern gaming. Just so many regrettable actions in the past five years for gaming. The empty and boring titles, the unfinished products, the market transactions, our favorite franchises dying due to lack of care, dev teams falling out, and on top of this, games are more expensive, $70 for our worst product. Things aren't as they were back then. The games we got to play were actually made with passion by devs who actually like what they did. Right now, a lot of devs seem to be in it for the money. Because games are more mainstream now. All of the Kickstarter projects that flopped, 
all of the scams, all of the downgrades, and ridiculous indie deception by games like Dead Matter, all of these things add to why gaming has been on a decline for the past 5 years. I honestly can't remember the last time I was excited for an upcoming release. Because it's all deception now, the final product is never what the trailer shows. And I just don't get why people have to go to a game that's 14 years old to have fun because the supposed successor was worse. That's the state of gaming right now. People are going to old games because they're better than what we have today. Before I go, I want to say that it is truly a shame to see this happening, but we also have to see the good side of things. We got Elden Ring, Red Dead Redemption 2, God of War, Little Nightmares, Ghost of Tsushima, and so on. We still have some hope at least. There's still a lot to be happy about. Gaming isn't over, it's just in a rough period and very soon we will surely start to see the recovery phase. There's a lot of games to come. Like GTA 6, The Zelda sequel, Spider-Man 2, Resident Evil 4 Remake, Redfall, Wild Hearts, Sons of the Forest, and a lot more including a lot of cool indie games that I've been looking at. All coming 2023 and beyond. And on top of that, Sony announced that PlayStation exclusives will all move into PC as well. So then again, gaming isn't over, it's just in a decline and very soon, we will begin to recover once again. and conspiracy theorists claim to have seen a UFO. They're lying. The government is lying and they're trying to hide it from us. 